Scotland, known for its natural beauty and enduring mysteries. One of the greatest being the secrets of whisky making, passed down from generation to generation for hundreds of years amongst its winding scenery. In the last episode, we found out how mashing transforms malted barley seeds into a thick, sugary and frothy mixture known as wort that can be fermented. This is From Cask to Bottle, Episode 4. Hi, I'm Colin Hamden White, and I'm going to shed some light on the secrets of whisky making. Once properly mashed, yeast is added to the sugary warts in large wash bags. These are big vats that are either made of pine or steel, and it's in these vats that the fermentation process begins. Fermentation takes three days. Um, during this time, by adding the yeast, that will convert the sugars into alcohol. It also creates carbon dioxide gas, and this is what makes all the liquid bubble up and froth up. The stainless steel washbacks help to give an overall consistency to the fermented mixture that will result from the chemical reactions taking place within them, as wooden washbacks are vulnerable to yeast infections, but they are still used in some distilleries. Wooden fermentation vessels are, are very, very nice. They look very romantic. Um, but at the end of the day, yes, sometimes you will get a very good fermentation, but you can also get a very bad fermentation. You can get yeast infections built up in wooden washbacks. Um, at Glenfarkles, we use stainless steel washbacks. We have done for many decades now. Um, we get a much more consistent wash. And for us, having consistency is much more important than having something that may look nicer. We do have some steel ones here, but why we still have the wooden ones is to keep the family traditional wooden ones going on for as long as possible. During that time, the yeast converts the sugars to alcohol and also creates carbon dioxide. The type of yeast we use here is a nice cream Maori liquid yeast that comes from Hull and because of that it will bring out nice fruity esters in our whiskies like apples or pears or bananas. I think the yeast is something that's a naturally occurring substance. Yes, we are adding cultured yeast to, to our fermentation to change the or to speed up the fermentation. Um, it's not changing the, the flavour at all. Once fermentation is complete, the wash is ready to go into the stills and start the distillation process. Follow us on From Cask to Bottle, The Secrets of Whiskey Making. <laughs>